We are back, oh my days. This is not gonna be a long podcast, but it's an important one. So, enjoy it. Strap up, buckle in. Look at me trying to muster all of the energy that I can to make this as engaging as possible for you. The reality is, I am Tommy Tucked, mate. Honest to God, Saturday, I think I went out. Yeah, Saturday. I didn't get in till 8 a.m. Um, met up with my uni boys for the first time in a long, a very long time, four years since we've all been together. So things got a bit wild, you know? And here I am, struggling. And I think that that's where I want the pod to be around today. The amount of messages that I got over the bank holiday weekend about feeling guilty for going out or being out a number of times or, um, this association that having fun with your mates and enjoying a beer, enjoying going out for meals or eating food that is deemed unhealthy. Like, no, this guilt that you have, one is in your head because one meal is never gonna make you fat. If you look at the, the, the week on that exact scale, a week scale, my brain's not really working today, then, you're not gonna look at a certain day in isolation of, oh my days, I've gone so far over my calories. Like, if you go over your calories on one meal, yeah? Well, let's say you have three meals a day, yeah? So that's 21 meals. So 20 meals out of that week, you've been good. Like someone was saying to me, they're going on holiday in like a month's time and they feel guilty because they've got three weekends out until then. That's like six days out of 28. So 22 days you've got to be good. And that is the mentality that you have to have when you are going out and when you are looking to enjoy yourself. Because ultimately, one day will not do damage. The damage will come on the days after. And that is why I am recording this podcast right now. It is my thing to do on a Monday, record a podcast, be consistent with it, turn up. Today, I feel bloody horrendous. I'll promise you that now. But if I didn't turn up today, it's gonna be a nightmare going forward. And when you are going out and enjoying yourself, the way to stop yourself from feeling guilty is getting straight back onto the habits that you would usually carry out because the habits that you do more consistently will show in your whole demeanor. If you're somebody that absorbs negative information, you'll be a negative person. If you absorb positive information, you'll be more positive. If you over consume calories a lot of the time and you don't move enough, you're gonna be fat. If you are usually good with your habits, you're gonna be in shape. If you're disciplined, you're gonna be in shape. So what I want you to take from this, and as I said, my, my battery is flashing as we speak, so I'm literally trying to run through this, but to not feel guilty it is about concentrating on what you do consistently. And consistency does not mean perfection. So if you're someone that thinks you're bad for going out and having fun, if you are consistently good, so doing things and habits most of the time that will benefit you, then you've got nothing to worry about. If you consistently do overeat on your calories, do go out on the piss, I can guarantee you now, I could draw a picture of what you will look like. So. Make your choices. If you are going out, make sure you get back on the horse on the Monday or the day after, whenever it is, yeah? Enjoy your life. Life is more important than fitness. It always will be, and that is the mentality that you have to have. When you can get the balance between life and fitness right, you'll be flying, guilt-free, and healthy. The healthiest you can be, because you won't be overly obsessed with everything that goes into your body, or beating yourself up for having fun. That's all we've got today. Hope you enjoyed it. I am going to go and recover. Have a great week, and I will see you in the next one. Buddha butt butt.